Hello everyone, this is Akiman Neto and um, today I shall be taking you through um, some basic things using Microsoft Word. Now as I've told you in my previous video that um, um, this tutorial is meant to steer up your design creativity and to ensure you're on the right track before laying ends on any advanced softwares like um, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and the likes. So you can check on the internet to check the list of those um, softwares we have online to do anything. So right now, let's quickly dive to what we have for today. Now today I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using shapes to create amazing pictures like a um, logo icon for home and I'm going to be designing a home itself using Microsoft Word. I'm going to be drawing a, a table, I'm going to be drawing uh, a chair, I'm going to be drawing um bell i'm going to be drawing a key i'm going to be drawing a jug and um and so on and so forth so i want you to um, also follow along and after watching this video i want you to like my video share and comment this is the way you can pay me back thank you so let's dive straight to what we have now as i've told you earlier on that whenever you are on microsoft word you have the leverage you have all uh hashes to be creative because what you have white space no restrictions you are free to type you are free to do anything you know and the word processing software allows text images animations and everything okay so that is why i'm mostly addicted with this i made sure i'm uh, very good and very far in microsoft word before i went straight to the, the design world okay so let's dive straight to what we have right now and uh, let's see Okay, now the first thing I'm gonna be drawing it's a um, I'm gonna be drawing the home um, button, uh, the home logo. So now, as I've told you earlier on, that you need to be very, uh, you need to open up your mind, open up your spirit, so as for you to be able to do all these things. And uh, as you are using your Microsoft Word to draw out what you have inside, like you're you are trying to actualize your imagination. So you just have to work alongside your imagination so as to work for you. Now, the first thing I'm going to be using is lines, which is very simple. Just grab, click once, drop here, duplicate, you can press copy and press paste. Okay, I'll drop it like this. Okay, but you have to make this to be longer a little bit than the other one. Okay, now just need to draw this little bit, join it okay that is done then um, you need to draw the same line as well okay good and you have to join like this okay good now let's say this should be more longer than the other one now let's check if these lines are straight okay so this should end here okay um this should end here okay okay and uh, this should uh, be strict with this okay so once we make sure that this is straight as well but mind you we are drawing a line like this up okay so this has to be straight okay Oh, uh, sorry. Um, okay, you can delete this. Now, for you to be perfect with what you are doing, let's go on so as to save time. Now, you need to draw a line. Yeah. Draw a line here. If it is not straight, you can straighten it there by pressing zero to be straight. Now duplicate. You can press Ctrl G to duplicate. Um, put it here. Now draw a straight line from here down here. Okay, that means this is not long enough. Or you can shift it down a little bit. Okay, don't worry. We are going to make everything perfect. Okay, just hold on. Now what you need to do? Let's shift this to the middle a little bit. Okay. Let's shift this a uh, little bit as well. Okay.
okay now we're gonna be drawing this now I can duplicate and duplicate the two okay now you formed um, you need to group them group okay so you have this good you can resize this a little bit smaller a little bit okay duplicate twice duplicate another thing okay good so now you need to make uh, a simple doll uh, by using this just this okay and uh, we can put a simple point here to show the done knob good uh, it's too big now if you are not perfect enough you can just reduce it here 0 0.07 by 0 0.07 okay good now for anyone that sees this okay let's put the um, this thing I think the the houses we have over there, I think they normally have this. Um, this uh, stuff like this. I think I'm correct. Okay, okay, good. Now, what we have right here is uh, a complete uh, representation of what of a home. Now you can see our the hedges are not perfect. So what you need to do is to make sure you enlarge this and uh, make sure the join. Okay, you we'll see you'll be able to correct the edges when the images are you know when the view is very big. Okay, you can see they're perfect. Now you can shift this a little bit, bring this down a little bit. Okay bring this down and reduce this can you see it's getting perfect now this is perfect shift it to the front or up a little bit shift this as well up a little bit okay now what we have here you can see this side is not balanced so you need to draw this down a little bit okay and uh, okay now I think where do we have any okay here yeah. okay so I think if we should return back our designs to the initial view I think we have a complete house okay so now let's go straight to the next one next one is gonna be a, ho a home as well so it's possible for you to group all these if you want to make it smaller or make it a logo now you can uh, uh, make sure you click all the lines okay good and good good mind you I'm grouping using my I'm pre uh, holding down my control keys okay so make sure you hold yourself your own control key down okay if you remove it you will see those ones that are not being grouped so go back click 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 okay and um, yeah group again let's see what is left out drag you can see the knob is left out okay so let's show this back okay this shows the front now you group again group so if you move everything it moves okay so you can uh, make this smaller we have achieved that now next one let's make sure let's try to draw a real home this okay now you can duplicate this because this will serve as the length here as well okay and you can uh, no sorry duplicate this since it's going to serve as the breadth sorry the length the other one serves as the breadth you can see the perfect one now okay so you can um, sorry okay what you need to do is just to make sure you draw this like this and make sure it's a straight line okay 
it's on a straight line as this. Okay, now this shows a complete roof. Okay, so don't worry, as we are designing, we are going to make sure we remove all these uh, extra lines. So make sure this is a straight line. Sorry, this is not straight. Remove it, make it zero. Okay, you can see it coincides. Now that shows we are on the right track. Okay, so now duplicate this as well by pressing Ctrl D, drop it here. Okay, mind you, the length here will be the same length down here. Okay, so don't confuse yourself by drawing a new line because, because um, this is going to serve as the base for this as well. So we are through with this now. Duplicate this straight line also. Sorry, duplicate this, put it here. Okay, then mind you, the base here is going to be the floor line for this. Okay. So the point at which it meets here will be the base for this. Can you see the complete hours right now? Now we are drawing 3D. Okay, so this is just the basics. If you know you want to go into AutoCAD, you want to go into um, any you know any any three-dimensional um, design softwares, you need to like master all these kind of techniques so as for you to know where and where how, how to draw your planes and coordinates. Okay, so now let's move right now. What we need to do is to insert uh, let's try at something now the door is going to be straight with the plane of the line this is the door the door will be at the center of the house depends on the design of the house so duplicate this again okay let's make it smaller okay and uh, let's make sure this line is duplicated so the line the door should uh, be uh, let's say like this height think yeah yeah here and here forms the door okay now this will form the base for the window so now this is the window so the window is gonna be like this like this so the other window you duplicate this two so duplicate this window as well good okay now let's try to simplify our work okay let's match all these things together so as not to make our work complex for each other okay so what we're going to be doing now right now is the uh, draw out the uh, the door so what you need to do is to expand this and don't forget how our door is going to look like let's make this go okay so this is going to be like this this is going to be like this okay this this is gonna uh, shoot right here okay this is gonna come straight here okay so you can do yourself a big favor by just shortening this little bit inside you know hold on this drag okay now you can see we've sorted out the door now let's sort out the base uh, for the floor level to the wall of the house okay good so let's come back to our initial designs in the previous views now you can see we've made space for for the door so let's um i think like we need to expand this so as to sort here okay now you can see there is a lead to um, problem over here okay it's gonna end there okay and this is going to be like this okay so we have uh, uh, let's say we need to reduce the height of this because it needs to be perfect okay so this is reduced let's reduce this okay uh, okay so uh, let's uh, okay we don't need this i think i'm gonna put a window here okay let's um okay i think we've um, been able to achieve this okay this is the window okay so let's bring down this down here okay bring this down as well
Okay. Same. So we're gonna make use of this. So duplicate this. Okay. So that means this has to come to the level of this. Okay. This has to be the level of this. Okay. And um, this has to be shorter. This has to be shorter. So for you not to make a mistake, just duplicate the same line you have here. Duplicate it here. Okay. Okay, that means uh, this has to be shorter a little bit. Okay. Sorry. Okay, I think uh, good. Can you see how perfect is is the, this design is gonna be? Can you see something? Okay, so now let's shorten these as well. Since we've drawn the baseline for the two, for this, for this, good. So, for this, and uh, for this, okay. So now we've been able to draw out our window. You can see it's straight. Can you see it's very straight? It aligns to our design, not crooked. It is very straight. Okay, so um, let's uh, close down the baseline for the windows. Okay, let's um, let's use this for this. Okay, and let's break down these little bits. Okay, sorry. Okay, now let's bring down these to this okay and now let's bring down this to this okay now so you can duplicate this to for this you can see to be perfect you can see it fit in solidly into this okay just need to adjust this a little bit just adjust this a little bit okay good now we have the window side now let's adjust the uh, length of this in okay good so and now let's uh, draw this in so now uh, let's assume the out arch to windows now i'm gonna be leaving this as our base okay okay this will be our base okay okay let's make the window to be in the same line as this okay let's uh, duplicate this again okay that means the window line must start from here Okay, it must start from here. Okay, that means the point of intersection. Okay, that's where it must start from. I'm using my arrow key to you know position them where it should be. Okay, so that means our window level will start from here. Okay, so um, what am I gonna do? Okay, let's use this since this on a straight line as this. Okay, draw one here duplicate the other one draw it here okay good now duplicate these two lines uh, and put it here okay so we formed our um, window now you can delete this okay you can now shorten this to this sorry our line have shifted a little bit Okay, and um, sorry, let's uh, enlarge it a little bit. Okay, so sorry okay
okay i'm sure you're following me the way i'm doing it you can pause the video so as just to see where you made mistakes or how you need to you know adjust some things around there okay so you can um, reduce this to come down here okay good we don't have a window here so just duplicate sorry duplicate or group to four one two three and a four now we can group it and duplicate by pressing ctrl d so we can replace this with uh, this two you can delete these two lines now so once you delete it you have a house with uh, four windows okay let's correct the baseline for this please good you can start to remove this one okay so um let's say we want to put something at the top so uh, what you need to do is just um, let's use a straight line duplicate okay you want to make the chimney okay okay so the chimney is gonna have a base like this and um you're gonna have this kind of uh, head over here okay so that uh, mind you it's might be 3d i mean it's my um, sorry okay so um okay okay let's let's just make it uh this two and uh, what we're going to be doing is just to make sure that this okay sorry okay this ends here okay and this continues okay sorry don't worry i'm going to be correcting the hairs here okay so let's reduce the height of this this is too tall okay now so let's increase the the size of this and to see our hairs okay okay good so um, now with this you have your nice house oh, okay so i think you can do some other things too by um, putting a demarcation in the house like um, this okay you can make it straight sorry okay duplicate and put okay let me just duplicate this length okay duplicate put the center duplicate as well okay you can just make this other window if you like you can put it in front so now i'm going to be taking you through to the next one where i'm going to be designing uh something else like uh, a jog okay thank you watch out for the next video thank you